We're here with Emilio Aragon, mm -hmm. uh, uh, Angie Cepeda, I almost called you Patty, <laughs> and Robert Duvall. It's such oh, an yeah. honor. We're, you're talking to the playlist, so thank you so much. Where are you from? The, um, I'm from Brooklyn, but I was an Air Force uh, brat, which I read online that you were a military brat yourself. Yeah, Navy, right? Navy, Navy, yeah. yeah. yeah went to Navy, I was 16, I think. My father went to Air Force again. Oh, did he? Right, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Brooklyn. I live Fourth in Brooklyn. biggest city in America, Brooklyn. It's huge. Yeah. You should come visit. Um, Peter so Luger's Steakhouse, very good. Peter Luger, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, That's a good one. one. That's a good one. <laughs> um, well, thank you so much for talking to us today. Congratulations on the film. Thank you. Um, Mr. Duvall, you sure can still cut a rug in this movie. Well, no, yeah, I mean, uh, uh, cowboys can dance and sing. They all do, you know. They, and I you was, can tango. I, I was at a big thing on the border a few years ago in Laredo where they had the tick riders, you know, and, and all those guys, they were the best dancers, the uh -huh. guys with the, that were the horsemen. Uh -huh. And going back in history, George Washington, our first president, was a terrific dancer because he, he was a great horseman. Huh. So there's a connection, I think. You That's know, nice. With the cowboys. So tell me about this movie. It seems like it had a very long journey to the screen, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. Bill Whitliff wrote this uh, screenplay, one of your Lonesome Dove screenwriters. Yes. He wrote the screenplay 25 years ago? 35. 35. Yeah. So what took so long? Uh, and were you always on board? Maybe Whitliff took it, made it take so long. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. First it was a guy, then Dennis Hopper was going to direct it. Then they had a French guy that was going to direct it. He disappeared. Now we've had a Spanish guy. Huh. So how did you guys find each other? Great. Uh, oh, oh, yeah. Well, it was through, uh, through a, a, a producer that, uh, that gave me the, the script. I read it. I, went to, I flew to Virginia. Uh -huh. uh, we talked about the movie. Here, here I are. fed him first. He loves to eat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was easy. It was easy yeah. because we. What since, an honor, right? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. For me, it's an absolute honor for for everybody in, in the crew. It, mm -hmm. it, it was uh, every single day. Uh, it was a master class, and uh, and uh, and we have been blessed with everything in this film, uh, having Bobby in uh, in it, and and the rest of, of the cast. And the crew and the people from Brownsville, everything has been uh, fantastic. And here at South by South, have you been to South by Southwest before? A few times, yes, yeah. man. I have. I like it here a lot. I like it here in Austin. Yeah, Austin's great. Yeah. So you said that Red Bobby is one of your favorite roles. Yeah, I um, like. I, I really like the character a lot. What he's, he's kind of like he's kind of like a descendant of the two guys in Lonesome Dove, uh -huh. which Whit Whitliff wrote. You know, mm -hmm. that screenplay and his as an original. Does he see them as connected or no? Now, I, I connected him more than he did, but there is a connection, mm -hmm. like a great nephew or something. Cool. In spirit, I think, in spirit. So what is it about him? He's feisty and... Um, well, he's just an individual, you know, he, uh, he's going along with his status quo, which isn't that interesting. He loses everything, finds he has a grandson, and they, they, they wend their way south mm -hmm. to the border, not knowing what's going to happen, just aimlessly. Mm -hmm. And then wonderful things begin to happen, like a rebirth. And you yeah. find this lovely. Yeah, exactly. You know, when we had, the, when we had that, the, the, the mayor of Brownsville threw a beautiful brunch. Remember that day he threw a brunch? Yeah. You weren't there. No? No, you didn't come. I remember that. When did, when did you come? She was at the beach or something. Oh, yeah. To the, where? You didn't come to the, to the brunch of the, the mayor. Oh, oh no, 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 I didn't. Yeah, probably was, yeah, I was at the beach. <laughs> yeah. In the beach, yeah. <laughs> in the beach. Yeah. <laughs> right. So but we, it was great working in Brownsville. It's just great. Yeah. It was supposed to be New Mexico originally, and that was okay. Oh, Better rebates there than here, but somehow they did it in Brownsville on a very low budget. Don't ask me how. Don't ask me how. Yeah. It was really hot. It was really hot. Really, I'm really sweating really right now. Really hot. Hot but what are you talking about? Are you from Colombia is really hot in Colombia. Well, we were you know the equator, dying right? There, but of <laughs> happiness. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. But there was a breeze at night off that ocean yeah. sometimes. Yeah, that's true. Off the bay. That's yeah. true. So it was a really quick shoot, right? It was down and dirty. Twenty-three days. <laughs> Does that help you? Does it give you like a sense of urgency and kind of like energy? Yeah, yeah, that was working yeah, about yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. It made everybody. Everybody yeah. was ready. Always. Everybody was ready. And I've sat around on films where between takes. Between takes, those twenty minutes talking, I mean, he's like, like this. But when you have to, when you have to put it all together, to compact. Yeah, it was I, always fresh. Yeah, uh -huh. it's great. Yeah. Did and you have time for many takes, or was it kind no, of? No, we, what we did, and, and mo, mo, I think that almost every every scene, 
we the first take was rehearsal. Uh -huh. yeah. But but many of the first takes were were good. I think that the four takes was, was the Last. the most that we did. We did because everybody everybody was so into the everybody knew the movie by by heart everybody was was, was ready and and uh, uh, well we would move from one set to another and I think it was like 20 minutes of you know just just walking from street to street right. or it was very very fast and yeah. and and but besides this I agree with with Angie Angie said that it was hot uh -huh. uh, imagine August Brownsville oh. Uh, in an in interior, indoors, yeah, no air conditioner, no air condition, yeah. 50 guys inside of a crew yeah. in, a, in a cantina and for five, six hours without air conditioning. Oh. Imagine. And he wouldn't complain. Yeah. He didn't complain. He what? He, you wouldn't complain. No, I don't mind the heat if you really work it. <laughs> yeah. If, if you really work it, I don't mind yeah. the heat. That's true. I'd rather have the heat any day than the cold. Yeah, me too. Yeah. So, how do you. Um, how do you describe Red's life code or his code of honor? Because he's, he's got this code, you know, he, at first he does it, the guy who's trying to kill him, and then he kind of, I mean, I don't give too much I think, away. I, but think he, he's code, I think his code shifts from day to day. Yeah? From hour to hour, you know, he, whatever. Whatever he thinks is right. Yeah, he talks to God that he doesn't like, uh, you know, who knows, yeah, I think he, he goes to, he marches to his own drumbeat. I love the line, am I right or am I real? Mm -hmm. Am I right or am I real? A lot of those lines came from, uh, from, from, from Whitliffe. He knows that. And, and, and the scene, I, I wish they put it in the thing, was where he, Grant and I walking up the street, and a guy came up to Whitliffe on a bridge once years ago and said, I'm cutting my arm. Yeah. Give, give, me, give me $5, I'll cut my arm for you. That, that really happened. Wow. So those things really happened, those lines and everything. Huh. You, know, you know, Jesus Christ on a stick horse. It's <laughs> a very Texas thing. <laughs> you seem like you're from Texas. I know you're not from Texas, but you do seem like. Well, I, I like it here. Actually, not that it's a connecting thing. My mother's people were from New Boston, Texas, huh. which is over near the Arkansas border. Okay. So I like. I have a lot of friends here. I like it a lot. Here. Okay. Um, what can you tell us about the judge, which is coming out? Next. What do, you, what do you want to know? We're, I don't know. We're talking about this movie. Okay, we'll talk it's about It's just this. great to work with Robert Downey Jr. Yeah, he's a wonderful awesome. guy and his wife. And it's a terrific, it's a very smart, very smart script. Very different from this. I don't like that kid. It's a, it's a very complex guy. Uh -huh. I, I'm not even thinking about him while I'm doing this because I love Red Bowie. So it's, it's a different thing. Uh -huh. A big movie. I haven't been in a big movie maybe since Apocalypse Now because I like the small movies. Yeah. But it's all action and cut. Television, big movies, little movies, all the same. Mm -hmm. Living within a, an imaginary set of circumstances. Mm -hmm. but, uh, I love the impossible. That was a good. Oh yeah, right. Um, so how do you pick your projects, all of you? How do you? What what draws you to to, to a project? I don't know. For me, when I feel something, when when I feel connected to the part, when it makes my heart feel something specific, it happens with this movie, mm -hmm. with this character. It's it's. It's really hard to find uh, roles like this mm -hmm. uh, for, for women. Yeah. And so I think this is a good one, definitely. I think she's right, feel. Yeah. When I see Great Horsemen, they say, well, it feels good. Uh, the, the little girl I know in Argentina, one of the greatest tango dancers that ever lived from the streets of Buenos Aires. I said, what's it like to dance with this guy, this guy? I said, well, it feels good. It's always feel. Yeah. Feels so. I mean, that, I think that's the beginning and the end of certain things. That, like you said, they the sense something, it feels something. And does that start when you read the script, or does it or go hear in, about the intuition? What? Just intuition? Okay. Yeah. yeah. For me, it's a it's an idea. The, the the script that I uh, that I finished uh, months ago, it was there's an idea that was haunting me, and, uh, and it was forgiveness. Mm -hmm. It's easy to tell someone, uh, oh, you have to forgive. But when you have to forgive, mm -hmm. in, uh, in first person, that's another th that's another story, and it's this is a story of, of two friends. Uh, the story begins in uh, thirty years uh, before, mm -hmm. and then we uh, uh, five minutes later in the beginning of the movie we uh, we start the story of these two guys that have a big problem to resolve. Mm -hmm. They have to forgive each other mm -hmm. and that's that's the motor of the, the whole story. Mm -hmm. But I think these ideas are the ones that, that me as a, as a writer and a director
right That's now. part of this movie, too, yeah. for sure. Exa yeah, yeah, exa yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. Yes. But Angie, I hope this movie helps you. She should work in this country. Because she's a trained actress, plus she works instinctively through field. I should hire you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and be my agent. <laughs> how, did you find, how did you find Angie? I don't know if that would work. Is <laughs> it <laughs> <Is that happening? laughs> yeah, was a casting. Mm -hmm. I was yeah. shooting a movie in Colombia. I live in LA, but I was shooting um, mm -hmm. in Colombia, and um, and I got the, the material, so I, I self-taped, and I sent uh, the audition, and they hired me. But Angie has two things, I think, that are uh, crucial and very important. One, first one, uh, the camera loves her. Mm -hmm. And second, and, and uh, as important as the first one, is that she, she's very talented. Mm -hmm. And as Bobby said, uh, she, she uh, stands in front of the camera, and it's, uh, it's truth what, what it emanates. No, it's mm -hmm. truth, and, and it's, she's very natural. She right? oozes. My manager and my agent, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. It's true, it's true, it's true. You got some good advice. Thank yeah. you yeah. so yeah. much. Thank you. Right. Well, thank you. Good luck with the premiere today. Thank yeah. you very much. Thank you. I think I deserve it. I love it. So yeah, it's you. nice to see you back in the yeah, Thank Texas. you very much. We see how they react with a thousand people today. You know. I think the Texans are going to really like yeah, it. Yeah, I think so. Great. I got some people that. The scene at the fact that Robbie who works with me has a stepdaughter and uh, and she saw it eight seven years saw it eight times. Wow. Eight times really? on a disc at home. Wow. Yeah. How she, old is she? She's eight or nine. <laughs> wow. Yeah. And so a lot of people in Texas would like this. Yeah. Thank you. And and further. Too, yes. so. Touch wood. Right. Touch wood. I'm not good. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much.